he was like begging Steven to. And so- Stop! Hi. Hold on one second. I'm taking off my kid gloves. <laughs> I What the f are you talking about, it's, The problem isn't you not being ready for debate spears and people trying to pin blah, blah, blah. The problem is you coming on and sh on other people and crucifying people over sh that you change your mind on the next day. I'm doing the Max thing where I feel like you're not you're not taking care of my feelings, but you shouldn't have to, but I still. My honesty, my charitability are like the two things that I've extended the most to you and to other people in general, so. I know, and maybe that's why I got so happy with how much you were doing that, that suddenly you stopped and I was like, wait, where'd it go? Oh, I like, don't know how to ask for what I want from you. Like, I'm ready for Steven to, like, never um, act differently. And in that case, if we have a conversation and he still doesn't understand me, I'm, like, fully ready to, like, never stream with him again. Um, like, I don't want, I don't want him to change. But I, I hope this, I hope, I hope it will change. Wait, why wouldn't you want him to change? Uh, because I'm less interested in, um, like, teaching him how to treat me and more interested in having relationships with people who already know how to respect me. It's so hard for me to like, I don't, I shouldn't do it because it is toxic, but it's so hard for me not to pull age cards. Like, sweetie, you're 24 years old. Like, please stop. It's so cringe. I need to teach you how to set boundaries. Like, you don't even know the boundaries you have for your own life. The idea that I have something to learn from you about boundaries for how to treat other people is laughable. <laughs> okay? Please stop. It's to even suggest that is so cringe. You have the same philosophy as Steven. That's what he does. Is if he things aren't going his way, he just leaves. But I'm not like that. And I yeah. no one no no one no one who loves him has ever really pushed back on him. It seems like people get heartbroken, leave, hate him, become his enemies and try to destroy him. Um, hard to, right? It's really hard to put that much effort into something that you is like an immovable force. And I think Stephen has proven himself to be. And it is t completely fine that you... I'm not telling you... Rub your hands together or something. Oh, man, dude. I, it's, I'm boomer-brained. I am boomer-brained. Now I know how my parents felt. Oh, we never finished watching this. I know how my parents felt. Like, listening to somebody that's like 23 or 24 years old whose life philosophy changes completely every three months, like, try to psychoanalyze me is like so... Like, I don't even know how to say it. What do you want me to say? Like, you've got it all figured out, like, bro. Like, come back to me in three weeks when you've got, like, a whole different life philosophy. Like, come back to me in two weeks when you've now justified why your OnlyFans is actually okay and you're gonna go do hardcore. So, like, dude, she missed me with that shit, okay? I hate liars. That's the big thing. Okay. Thing. So, too. I disliked, I disliked Cherry. I hate liars and phonies. I'm like a, what's it, Holden Caulfield from Catcher in the Rye. Um, but I hate- Don't, you don't ever want to be Holden Caulfield from Catcher in the Rye. Don't, that's not the character you want to commit yourself to. The whole point was that guy needed to grow up and stop judging people, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> if I remember, it's like 20 years since I read that book, literally, but. I hate, listen, I didn't like Cherry before. At first I was like, what the f bitch? I was like, what, Cherry, come on. Why are you doing this to me? I was like, let's duke it out. It's like drama. Mm -hmm. And then she tried to do this whole thing with Max and I was like, no, now I hate you, I think. Can I be honest about that? Just like caveat, I just feel like she really made a mental illness mistake. Like, I know. Like maybe it triggered- No, and that's her, fine. Right? And that's fine. But then she doubled down on but it. But she apologized in the, in the stream. stream yesterday. No, she said, I really, I think I messed up here. I, but she doubted herself because Max makes me doubt myself too. Like sometimes I think he's lying, mm. but without meaning to. So I wonder if she was feeling the same energy from him. But she did admit in the stream yesterday that she- She went, called, no, she like, she lied. She lied and well, said that she lie. saw she him. It's true. She's so, okay, but okay. Then uh, it, does that hold? Uh, does that hold up in a court of law? I don't think that matters. Yeah, wait, isn't it literally called? Isn't it literally called mens rea? <laughs> isn't it literally in the court of law? Don't you have to have a state of mind to commit a certain crime? Like, if we were to talk about like um, like if you're backing a car up onto somebody and you run them over on accident versus you're trying to fucking murder them, the mens rea is going to be different for a different crime, right? Or if you perjure yourself, if you commit like um, perjury, like if you accidentally m mistake something or you get a fact wrong, you're not gonna be like, oh, you just perjured yourself. Well, hold on, f I misremembered, I misspoke. And it's like, well, no, you that's perjury.
Misspeaks equals jail time. She's like, the, it's Your not Honor? a court of law. Your it's Honor? not a court of law. No, you're implying intention. This is the. This is like now we're looping back to the same disagreement we had yesterday on stream. Okay, well then I'm uh, listen. I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional about this. I have my own opinions, and I'm allowed to have my own personal opinions totally. about how Cherry sure. conducted herself, and, we're and I think it's you disgusting. That the criticism that she's a liar doesn't bear out well. You can feel that way, but what we're saying is the feelings that you're having are a little bit off okay. here. Was there bad she stuff? She was careless. Happened? I will say she was she careless. Absolutely. I agree. She, I I agree. Was, she, she was more than that. She was reckless, right? Yeah. She did yes. a very, She's very reckless. bad thing. Yeah. She didn't think about the fact of like what these accusations would this sound is, but like. This is also, but this is also, this is also, especially when it comes to like a sexual harassment, uh, you know, whatever, it feels very dishonest to me. Even if you're not actively lying, it feels dishonest to be reckless. Because well, you're enjoying well, no. you're enjoying the in grouping of what? trauma bonding with Stardust over it. You're laughing about him being antisocial. You're talking about how small his dick is, and then you're online and you're like, "I was he made me feel uncomfortable." You're lying. Wait, you're wait, lying. wait, wait. Well, if, no, no, no. But, you don't know that's true. They why? might have actually been uncomfortable. Max does have a history of being exhibitionism. I think that they were wrong. They misread him because they're so angry with him. But in their worldview, they genuinely felt like what was happening. Unless they're going to convince me that Stardust and Cherry made it all up. They never felt he was doing that. They just well, ate D chest together a conspiracy to try to attack Max. So That's I don't what think, you're implying when you're saying no, that they're lying. No, what I am implying and what I think actually happened, because if you saw the stream, Cherry Foley is like trying to convince Stardust that it was like actually that he did it on purpose, which I think is even more gross. Um, because Stardust is like, I don't know, it made me feel weird. And then she had to double down because Cherry had already gone public with it. And then Stardust just got, Stardust was stupid, but she got carried away in this thing that like Cherry was like, it's antisocial behavior. She had just come off of the Mr. Girl stream. She was angry, vitriolic about, you know, whatever. That, that seems, there is something to me, maybe that's the wrong word. It feels like dishonesty. It feels like recklessness. Recklessness feels like dishonesty, yeah. It's deeply yucky. Like what, what I'm seeing in you is like, it's or yucky. Or maybe it doesn't feel, and maybe I dis maybe I, this it's is the wrong. problem. This is it's the problem. It's really wrong. Because I find, I think introspection and honesty are synonymous. Uh, uh, so when uh, I think that no, you're no. low yeah, in introspection, that reads as honest, dishonest to me. No, 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 I no, just, no, no, no. yeah, I just, two different things. no, no, yeah, no, 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 totally I know, different. I know, but I'm, I, I'm saying you are right. And I just realized that through understanding my personal, uh, dictionary. Okay. Okay. So fair, fair, it's fair. not dishonesty. But can I ask a question? Cause I don't know Cherry, so I can't speak for her, but how is that different than what like Max has done to me or any of the other women he's done anything to? Like he lies about me. He tells shit stories about me. He says the most bullshit things about me. He did it to me. And his version of apology is just like, it's half ass. That's why I don't trust him. Cause I don't think, he, I think he secretly still thinks bad about me, which is fine. But that's why I can't trust him. Cause I'm not getting any genuine energy from him. But then again, I could be wrong and maybe I can't see him. So that's my fault. So I'll, instead of trying to be friends, I've just given a space. So why like, why do you, why do you think like Max gets a pass, but Cherry can't? Cause I. I think that she probably just made a mistake even if it feels like a lie because it does feel like a lie but so does max yeah. but maybe they're yeah, just being lied about britney he's lied yeah. about you he's lied about me so maybe it's not a um, lie maybe it's but... like a cognitive dissonance issue right but he would say he felt that way it was he how his emotions were yeah. feeling right but she <laughs> felt that way too and yeah so the issue maybe. is if <laughs> if she's a liar then max was a liar all along too or both are in their fifis well pick. i also think that you need to weigh stick. you need to weigh what is also at like risk though, because if you're a man and you're accused of sexual assault, that's on your record more than like a f conspiracy. Like, I mean, I still have people trying to dox me to universities based on like certain claims that Max. Were they? But okay, but were they? Were they that's your Pascal, friends the who then decided to accuse you of sexual harassment? That's like very different than this person who's like mostly a stranger to you online, who's like you're a Nazi cult leader. I have a question: Is if you viewed my relationship with Steven, would you think that we're very close friends? No. Would you, is Cherry and Max very close friends? Uh, I think that, I think that Stardust and Max were closer. Okay. And then they with were. you and Steven, are you and Steven close friends, Slav? I would, we are on the friendlier side of friends. Even though he called you a dumb bitch yesterday? You're right. We're enemies. We're so adversaries. So what I'm trying to say is even to our friends, sometimes we can be vitriolic maybe we can sure. even tell lies about them so i'm saying yeah. like i guess i want to see because i don't know cherry so i really
I don't know who this bitch is. Like, uh, God bless her. I don't know who she is. So, like, I can't tell what she's doing, but it feels like I'm, just, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to figure out your values. So if you treat people the same or if you treat them differently because of some reason. Listen, I don't think it's that much different. Uh, I think this is all very personal to me. Uh, um, that's fair. Because of the way that I see myself in Max. I told this mm -hmm. to you earlier. Yeah, I yeah. see myself in Max. I saw nobody coming to his aid, even Steven, and he was like begging Steven to. And so- Stop! God, she's so stupid. But I understand that. It's because you're all children, okay? Let me explain this clearly, okay? The re- Okay. Hold on. It's okay. This is the penalty. This is the burden that I have to carry because I can see into the internet ethers and I see all and I understand everything and other people don't understand and that's okay. Let me we'll take a walk with me and allow me to share my wisdom with you, okay? <clears throat> the charges against Max from Cherry and Stardust were bullshit, okay? Number one, okay? Now, if it was the case that Max was gonna get hyper fucking canceled over it, I probably would have put my thumb on the scale. But you have to keep in mind that when I put my thumb on the scale, not only do I lend a bit of my credibility to a situation, in some cases, I might take away some amount of credibility from a situation. It might be the case that people think, oh, he's only trying to defend Max because they're friends. Or, oh, he's only trying to defend Max because he had a thing with uh, Ch um, Cherry and they hate each other now, right? So I wake up, I see this information, where people are saying like, oh, there's a, well, first I see messages from Cherry and Stardust. And I'm like, this is dumb. I see a message from Max. I'm like, this is dumb. Um, I don't know why they're saying this. This is stupid. So what I do is I go online and I and I look and I see, well, what, what are people saying? And here's what I see. In my chat room, people are shitting on Cherry and Stardust. In my subreddit, people are shitting on Cherry and Stardust. And on Twitter, in Stardust's own replies, people are shitting on Cherry and Stardust. So when I see that the entire world is against these two people. I don't need to put my thumb on the scale. I don't have to say anything. They've already destroyed themselves with their dumb shit accusations. Like, I don't have to weigh in there. For me to go live, and then for me to try to like, defend Max, I don't need to do that. They've already fallen apart themselves. I don't need to tip the scale or risk f***ing anything up by lending my credibility to Max, because why the would I, I, I wouldn't even need to do that. It's already more or less handled. Now, Max wanted, first of all, and Max never asked me to defend him. He didn't, now you could argue, well, he was too afraid to because he thinks that would look bad privately even, which I guess we can get there. But like, Max wanted to come on my stream and say his piece, and he did. Um, I don't remember, Cherry, Cherry was on. She had her tail tucked between her legs because she knew she was wrong, and she apologized later for it, which she should have. Stardust tweeted out her apology. She knew she was wrong. This idea that like, and I know that Lab is doing this because she's like desperately trying to get on Max's good side, and it's like her obsession right now, okay? But this idea that she, and she was even dealing with this, like, Max needs a friend. I'm like, what the fuck? He's fine. Shut the fuck up. I don't need this overly emotional, like, come and screech into the, oh, and you've got to help him and save him. He doesn't need help. It's over. It's fine. I think I even said that towards the end of the conversation. I was like, this is bullshit. And everybody knows it's bullshit. Of course it's bullshit. Everybody knows it. Everybody sees it. The whole fucking world is against Cherry and Stardust right now. I don't need to add any of my weight onto the situation. Everybody knows it's bullshit. Like, full stop. This idea that, like, oh, I'm going to be the one good friend. You, she's only saying this because she wants to be the one to save Max. Because she wants Max to like her. That's, like, her desperate thing. Like, so she wants to come in and save and She wants to say, oh, look, everyone else is being a bad friend. I'm being a really good friend that's good for you chief go for it but don't throw me under the bus We're like oh even steven wouldn't help him if it was some serious shit and the tides were against him on some bullshit accusation then of course i'd be weighing in a lot more like hold on let's stop and think what's actually being fucking said here but i didn't need to the whole world was against cherry and status on those accusations i don't need to like enter the fray there listen i'm it shouldn't have been me it shouldn't have been me to push back on cherry and i acknowledge that because it looked worse than it did obviously because we already had beef does mr girl feel this way about you not going in i don't know i haven't even talked about that but i don't care i know that i'm right I, I know that i'm right i can see the tides of the internet and the ebb and flow in the direction of where the jerk wave is going and i saw that as soon as i woke up nobody was going to be taking cherry and stardust uh side on that of course not literally like the day before it should have been steven and i was messaging him while we were while we were talking i was like you need to denounce publicly that this that she's like no i don't need to i don't need an overly emotional person with a biased investment in the situation to tell me how to handle a public situation you fall apart every single time somebody says something mean about you on reddit and twitter why the fuck would i take your advice in handling public situations there's no reason for me to do that you're the last person in the world i would ever trust for advice on how to properly help somebody like uh, I guess, like, do something for PR for, for their public uh, image. Like, wh why would I ever take your advice on that? That this was not accurate and that he's not a sexual assaulter. Because, I mean, 
Literally. I mean, Max I mean is... and it's not my responsibility to take care of Max, obviously, but Max is on stream crying as an empathetic person. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna fucking destroy this bitch. Stop calling you empath- you're not empathetic. You weren't empathetic towards anybody. You just wanted to come on and shit on Cherry. Stop with this empath bull- Dude, every time- Mr. Girl does this too. Anytime somebody says they're empathetic, I immediately like, haha, okay, sure. Dude, but fucking bullshit. Nobody's fucking empathetic. That is- it's just, it is such an unbelievably rare quality to have an actual empathetic person. Um, this is not it. <laughs> bitch. Um... Uh, this bitch who I already don't like because she already sucks to me. That's fair. To me, that's she already like, sucks. That's like the bias moving towards a direction. I love that for you. So I think that's fair. That's all fair. It's not fair. I guess I just, um, so that's How is it, it different? Right? I don't know. I, I just I just think Max Max is an adult who can stand up for himself. I don't think Steven or you have to. I think right. it's nice that you want to, but I like, I, I think even in the, in the conversation, Why like, did this Max not, actually like I... handled that like above reproach. Like he because handled that he, conversation. He had to. That doesn't matter. What do you, he yeah. Has to fight. But this is he, he always has to. He wanted to navigate it. As a streamer, yeah. as a streamer, he did well. As a person, he felt abandoned. Okay, as a person, we- How do you know that? God, it's so cringe. Oh God, her obsession with Max is actually so fucking cringe. Holy shit. Okay. And we're streamers. So all of our people do Okay, this great, to us. but I don't see- I don't Who joined? Hi. Um, is that Stardust? It's Stardust. Oh, okay, what's up? Hi. Um. Uh, I was wondering. Um. I'm. I was wondering. Um. Do you think. Uh. You. You. Well. Okay. If he will agree. Only if he'll agree. Um. I. I. I just want to kind of close, the book. I guess. And it like have like one last conversation. The with, uh, best thing you can learn in life is to never look for closure. I would leave it alone. <laughs> If you want to, and you want to ask him, I'll do it. But like, that's in my personal opinion. Yeah, seeking closure is almost always a mistake. You're just never gonna well, find. Well, it's not. Forward. Yeah, it's 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 not a. It, it, I know it's not going to be like what I want. I guess. Um, but uh, it, I know it's just going to. I just. I guess. I think like one last time would be good. One last conversation would be good. What so. What are you looking for? What is your goal? What do you think you're gonna get out of it? Um. Uh, I think I, I I just need to like hash some things out with him, I guess. So um, things that like I guess issues he has with me, um, uh, the reasoning behind things, um, uh, issues I have with him, stuff like that. So. But why? If the relationship is over, why? I mean. Uh, I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll message you. Okay. Good luck. I love you, babe. Yeah. Bye. But, I don't what? see you guys as streamer when we're talking. Right. I don't. I'm not thinking. I'm not reading chat. I'm not thinking about yeah, how I'm hello. on. I'm seeing you guys as people. When I'm when I'm That's having right. a conversation with Max with Steven, awesome. I'm not thinking about how many people are watching this. I'm thinking I need to make sure that Isn't these that people. I love Max's. Sure, He's thinking sure. About but it that's not my responsibility. That's not my value. But system. that's what I'm saying. You're giving him an out for, but he's the one who's literally doing it all purposely, perfectly. Or he even said it in the stream yesterday. Let me take care of myself because I have to like brand myself appropriately. Like he is manipulating the audience to see his side, which is fine. That's what all streamers Two. do. You have so to. I'm, yeah. Right. But I'm saying. You're, it's funny it, that he's. I'll be. I'll sacrifice myself. I don't give. But a why? Fuck. Why is Max not a point to you? But he doesn't want. He, no, he it's doesn't. Not he's, he it's not that. It's him. No, he didn't want you to. Yeah, like, he asked you to, to stop. love. <laughs> to love on Max best in that moment would be to honor his wishes about how the conversation went. I, Lav is going to have an excuse. Hold on. Let's see if I can make one prediction. She's going to say, "I think that he actually did want me to defend him, but he didn't want to say it because it would have made him look bad." I his think wishes. His wishes. Then maybe it was that he. Oh, maybe. No, okay, she admitted it. No. Like, maybe, it Ooh, maybe, like but okay, she got there a little bit. Okay. Defense, and it's way more about us than other people. And that could be fully true, but I instantly, I could tell, maybe I'm going to do the Mr. Girl. I could tell how he was feeling. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I then, believe yeah. you. All right. I yeah. believe you that um, he was feeling that way, but he had already, <clears throat> as an adult, told you, this is what I'm wanting in the conversation. If you wanted to caretake his emotions, then do it privately because he already told you publicly how he wanted to handle it. In the I am a very codependent person, and I like oh, that about myself. God, that word. So, uh, wait, codependence? Toxic goal, though. Don't you want so interdependent? <laughs> don't you want interdependent? <laughs> uh, no, I, no, 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 no codependent in that way but uh like i'm a i mm -hmm. i like that uh, i think i i think i really value my empathy and i really value my caretaking role 
So not necessarily uh. codependency, but I really value the nurturing aspect of my personality that wants to help people when they're in a place like that. Sure. Have you? That's then great. Then it wasn't for Max; it was for you. Wait, wait, wait. That's great. Have you had no, a nego- have you maybe negotiated both. with Max about his consent about whether or not he'd like that energy dynamic with you? Because that's a possibility, but you have to negotiate it, right? Because you can't mother people unconsensually. <sighs> so, like, have this? you? I don't. I don't think I was mothering him. I don't think I was mothering. You him. just said you were trying to stand up for him, right? You were trying to stand up for protection, right? Nurture. But, like, you should negotiate a formal relationship with him so you can maybe. do that without breaking his consent. Because yesterday it was like pretty consent breaking, right? Uh, an accident. You didn't mean to do it. Sure. You know, but it kept happening because he kept asking you. So what do you think about that? Like, is that a, is that too BDSM? Am I projecting my BDSM negotiation skills onto people right now? No, that, that I mean, that sounds like a conversation that we probably should have. Um, it makes me deeply person, uncomfortable, right? though. Why? Yeah. If this is less... Uh, I, I'm sorry. Hold on. I need to think for a moment. If this is less than 48, or would it be 148 because it's connected to this? Whenever it's less than 148... I need to load up enough to fill this up. That's what I have to do. So it's got to be. I'm bringing out the the green wire. Okay, hold on. That okay. Uh, because then. Um, if he says that he's uncomfortable with it, then I have to change something that is like very integral to my being. No. Totally. Um, Why is it totally. adding? Which when feels like him, wrong yeah. and uncomfortable to me. But I think that you're right that I should, I should do Oh, because I haven't yeah. even- But I feel that. I, I, that's why I hate to say it. Like as much as I'd love to talk to everyone in the world, some people, I'm not willing to sacrifice who I am to be able to have friendships with them. So I think that's fair. It's sad. It's a bummer. But so I feel you on that. And- Mr. Girl later said that Lab was helpful in that conversation. He appreciated what she said. Do you think that validates her impression? No. Uh, people like mind reading and mind f- people's feelings? No. Doesn't ever validate any of that shit. No. Especially not these people. <laughs> Especially not these two. No. Probably your energy towards Cherry was also clouding that interaction, right? You have like a lot more heat in general about the situation. Even though it's like Stardust and Cherry together, there's a lot more heat that you have for Cherry than you do for Stardust. <clears throat> I think is fair based on, like that's just oh. human. Um, but- Hi. Hold on one second. I'm taking off my kid gloves. Oh my god. What's up? Hi, let me let me see you. Let me see you. Show me your camera. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how to turn this fucking shit on. Okay. What's up? The framing of this as like drama has me stressed out. Good, <laughs> feel stressed because you have no problem running your mouth on fifteen other f- channels about this <clears throat> quote unquote drama. So, Dan, if you say retarded shit, I'm perma banning you from here, and I'm gonna drive to your f- house because I know exactly where you f- live. I'll be there in fifteen minutes. Okay, you're not gonna have anything to sell. Okay. I Go I ahead. think that I think that we can. Uh, there's this is dramatic and uh, to some extent, right? Yeah, but of course it is. I, yeah, you're running yes. around talking shit. That's drama. I'm not talking shit, Steven. You I'm are talking shit, but go ahead. What if I talk shit? What did I say? <clears throat> well, if, even if I brought up exactly what you said, your next response would be go, oh, tee Okay, yeah, maybe I did say that. Um, the way that you characterize I I, me I, as a bl- like blothering fucking moron. Okay, and the way your character is like, oh, he just doesn't care about me and he's being mean and the whole reason his community hates me is because of that one time he insulted me, like, is all absolutely- I didn't say that. I didn't say that. And if you watch the whole conversation I had with Brittany, I didn't say that. You Um, even said personally to me, you said that one phrase that I said to you was a big reason why you were getting- No, emboldens your community, which is just true, which is just true. If it emboldens it, it's responsible for 1% of the emboldening. Sure. Okay, but that's not what you're, don't say sure. That's not what you are pretending. You're pretending like it's Matt, like, oh my God, I'm getting all this hate because of destiny. Yeah, but you're wrong. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm wrong. And I don't think that you can prove to me that you're right. I know that I'm right because I've told you a million times what gets you the most hate. And I've told you and I see it and I see it happening over and over and over and over again. Or or just for the purposes to sticky note on the conversation. Yes, hold on, let me say it real quick, real quick. No, 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 no. 
Because here's the problem. You think that I'm counting every single bit of criticism or everything about me on your subreddit as misogyny. And I've repeatedly said, I don't think that that's the case. I think that 80% of it is probably pretty constructive. Even if I don't, like a lot of these people are mostly just giving me like um, feedback on like how to win in debates or how to like talk smoother or how to be more logical, right? Which is like fine. Even if I don't necessarily want to do that because I don't like being in the debate sphere, right? I'm more of like a talker than like a I need to be right person. But I appreciate the criticism nonetheless because it, it they want me to get better, right? That's fine. Even if they say it in a mean way, that's fine. Okay, that's great that you're saying that, no, this right now, but when you're no, on no, other no, no, platforms, no, no. you're no, saying things like, oh, well, week ago. well, his audience has like a, a lot of gripers in it. a week ago. Okay. Okay, exactly. It My audience has a like lot of gripers in it. What a weird statement to say. You spend you're, more time on alt-right griper platforms than I do. Do you understand that? Okay, Steven. Sure, but I'm not, not gonna, oh, okay, his, okay. I'm not interacting with as many uh, males as you. First of all, so I think in a space that is dominated mostly by males, there's going to be a little bit of misogyny that's bred more than if it's it, an all female space. Okay, you just totally pivoted away from the original claim. No, but and go you ahead. didn't let me fin you didn't let me fucking finish. First of all, so even if eighty percent of the criticism is valid, twenty percent of it is so fucking loud, and they're posting pictures of me without my makeup on. They're saying they're telling me to go back to uh, sex work that I should just shut my. Mouth, okay, hold on. So now you're mouth. conflating like, Twitter comments shit. with upvoted Reddit comments because people aren't upvoting these types of comments on my subreddit. If people are saying shit like that, that generally gets massively downvoted. Number one. So, and I, number two, I can't account no. for random tweet. Yeah. Okay, show me. It, no, it's definitely happening more on Twitter. Sure, but this okay, is still I can't help you engage this is still with your fan. You, you don't know that. Fan. You have no idea. This was the point that I made to you when you DM'd me but and I, you were like, look I, at all the hate that I'm getting on Twitter right now. Bro, you just spent like four hours fighting with a whole bunch of people on Chud Logic's Discord and you're blaming all the interactions on my community? Okay. First of all, you literally, again, I showed you it was less than 45 minutes and it was like. It was it was to two people. It was four pages was like, of con of you talking and arguing and fighting. It was 45 minutes, and it wasn't four f***ing pages. It was like 30 f***ing messages. You're blowing it so out of proportion, and you're trying to make me look like the crazy psycho, and I'm not Stop. going to let you because I'm not oh the crazy psycho. Oh my god, the gaslighting terminal. You guys have been psych poisoned. It was a mistake introducing any psych terms whatsoever to your entire f***ing Steven. generation. I'm not trying Steven, to convince you, to you of a different reality. I'm not trying to Steven, convince you of something. Relax. What I'm telling you is that when you come to me and you say, I'm Steven, going to publicly relax. condemn. I'm oh super relaxed god. right now. I'm going to publicly condemn your entire community because a couple of randos on Twitter that aren't representative of what's upvoted in your subreddit, and you know that, that stuff that isn't a lot in my chat room, and you know that, stuff that doesn't even show up in my YouTube thumbs up comments, and you know that, but instead you're going to do the thing where everybody does where they go, four or five people on Twitter are saying really mean things to me. I think it's your community. Bro, you spend so much time in griper platforms. That's one of the things that Cherry got mad at you for, for making racist jokes and you guys were on a fucking griper talk show. And you're going to say that gripers are in my community and you're going to blame my community for the feedback you get on Twitter? That doesn't make any sense. And it paints me and my community in a horrible light when you do it. And then you try to bond with other people making the same claims when that's not true. I'm not trying to bond with anyone. My conversation that I had with Max last night, I was trying, I was validating how he felt because I also feel it. Um, but I also, in the chat with Max, said that it's not necessarily your fault. And so if I'm going to come into your house, I'm opening up myself to all the criticisms of your audience, knowing that you cannot control them and that I cannot control you to control them. Hold on, stop. So Let me get a clear statement on, on you. I, I just want to hear for, for a fact for what you're saying right now, because what you just said is totally different than what you said in the past. So you're saying right now that my audience that is not that, my that, fault. That. My audience is not my fault. You don't think that it, so when you messaged me, you're like, oh, well, when you said this, it ramped up how your audience treated me. You didn't mean that at all? Or what do you mean it's not my fault can, at all? I mean, we can go through those messages because I feel like I was, I was pretty, uh, like, if you want to release those messages, I feel like I was pretty level-headed in the way I was like, this is how I feel right now. Like, uh, I don't want to make this your problem. I had said hold that on. to you. When I, okay. Oh, my God. I, what do you, when you, hold on. When, when, when you say, when you say, no, 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 stop. When you say an I feel statement, what is the purpose of that? Um, to, to let you know how I feel. Yes. The purpose of an I feel statement is to communicate a feeling in a way that avoids attacking a person, right? That's the point of an I feel statement. You can't say mm -hmm. something like, 
I feel like your community is full of gripers that attack. That's not an I feel statement. So we weren't just talking about your feelings. If you would have messaged me and was like, hey, I feel bad about this or that or that, that would be okay. That's not my problem. The issues told are the you, claims Peter, that you're making about me and my communities. That's the thing that's Peter, upsetting to me. I told you I told you this today also. Like, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing that you even have gripers in your community. I just that's, think that it Oh my God, the pivot. <laughs> I said this to you. Dude, don't fucking do that. I'm not fucking pivoting. You I are. This earlier. My I issue. That it's it's if you, neutral to have gripers. No, in your fucking that's, it's not it neutral. neutral. Stop lying. You're lying to me. You, I will read the fucking I don't care about your messages. Life. When you say on one platform, Destiny's community is misogynistic to me because gripers are there, you can't come and talk to me later and say, you having gripers in your community is neutral. Was, that's not the same thing. It was a 30 minute conversation and you're making it into a, a fucking statement? I'm, no, I'm going piece by I piece said. through the things that you're okay, saying. Then let me, then let me, no, you're not going piece by piece because you haven't watched the whole VOD, you haven't watched the whole conversation, so let me tell you what I meant, or if I said how about this? How about we just watch? It. How about we just watch the? Remedy. How about we watch that section of the video? We can just do that if you want, and we can talk about it's that. Thirty minutes long. It's okay, we can watch the one or two minute segment where you talk about that, or is is this a Jordan Peterson? Really, you I can't understand what's the whole thing. No, I already did. I just listened. I just listened to you talk about it. People are tagging me on Twitter, showing me it. I I know what I said. I said that there are that everyone in your community is debate debate bros. Uh, that you have groipers in your community, that there's a lot of misogyny. Those things can be true. And also, it can be true that I, I know that that's, that you can't control it. That that's also maybe not the space that I want to be in. Where we got to with me and Brittany's conversation is maybe I'm just like, I'm, I'm not, I'm too sensitive for the debate sphere. Like, okay. I like what, to have so conversations, but there's just too much, like, p like, pinning each other to to viewpoints and that's like not where i am right now i don't have like a strong grasp on something that i could like fight for okay and i've been stop trying you presenting yourself as a victim like, i what the f are you talking about it's, the problem isn't you not being ready for debate spheres and people trying to pin blah 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 the problem is you coming on and shitting on other people and crucifying people over shit that you change your mind on the next day. That's why people get upset. It's not like it's like, oh man, like, I don't know, like, I'm just undecided and blah, blah, blah. That's fine if you're undecided. I'm going to repeat this for the fifth time and I was going to pin this at the start of the conversation. People aren't mad at you because you're undecided. They're mad at you because you're undecided on a topic. You come into a Steven, platform, then you attack other people Steven. on it. And then the next day you change your mind on it. People are like, well, what happened to all the conviction that you had when you were Steven. shitting on people like Britney and Madam Genevieve and other people up. before? Steven, shut the f up. I, dude. Oh, hold on. Don't talk to me like that. Take that back. No. Did you I tell me to shut the f You weren't like this when we were talking in person. You said shut the f up to me. Take that Steven, back. Do you want to have a comfort? You're acting like a child. Do you want to You have just a said shut the f up to me. Take that back. Steven, stop. What are you doing, dude? Come on. I wonder the same thing sometimes when you're talking to me. Go ahead. Like, what? Why are you doing this? To demonstrate how ridiculous okay. it is when you get no. really mad when I use when I call you a bitch and you call Cherry no, a bitch like no. fifty I, fucking times in the said. same this conversation. Okay, no, this is the problem. First of all, I was slightly mad that you called me a dumb bitch. It wasn't that big of a fucking deal. You were I was super upset mad. About it. No, I wasn't super mad, but it definitely hurt my feelings. And we have a different relationship than me and Cherry do. But also, if you watch the vod of me talking to Erudite and Brittany. I literally talk about I'm too sensitive for the space. I can definitely dish out more than I can take, and that's probably why I'm not great here. I took accountability. You're not that, I, that, no, that's not, first of all, you never take accountability, even with how you describe my community. Oh, the reason why I mean is because they're the debate. Up. Yes, my, I I'm do. my bad, I can't finish a single sentence. Go ahead, queen. Say everything you need to say. I'm so sorry for interrupting you. No, I thought not, it was my turn to speak. Go ahead. You're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. I am me. hearing you. You're you. To, I'm you're listening wanting to, to get dubs. You're wanting to get dubs for your fucking audience, and you're like, not looking, you're not even, you're not, <laughs> like paying attention to the conversation you're not paying attention to what i'm saying to you you're trying you're trying to paint me like extremely uncharitably i'm trying to have a conversation with you as i have i am the most charitable person you will ever talk to for the rest of your life on the internet don't even that is Dude. the most ridiculous thing you've ever said okay you're never gonna find somebody that will give you the amount of charitability that i've given you okay number one number two i do hear what you're saying and i do understand what you're saying but you live in lav world you can't see a single thing from somebody else's perspective that's my issue i'm trying to explain to you my perspective and you're giving me more details and scenes from lab no, world i know what it looks like in your world i don't need you to explain it again if you have a question about anything that you feel i can explain every single part of it every Steven, aspect so and dimension like, of how you I'm feel hearing. but you can't explain okay, anything Steven. from my perspective Stephen, this is how this is what i'm feeling this is what i'm hearing from you is that you think that i'm putting uh you think that i'm victimizing myself when the real problem is that i uh have been like pretty aggressive um, and then flip floppy. Can I, can I list to you? Can I tell you my problems? Y yeah. 
Okay, here are my issues, okay? One, you present me as uncharitable and disingenuous. You do that in your implications that I'm scared to go hard on some people like Cherry because she's written a twit longer about me. And you imply that I'm disingenuous by saying stupid shit like, well, in real life, you weren't that mean to me because we didn't argue. We didn't have anything to argue about. Of course I wasn't mean to you. Why am I just gonna shout at a random person that's, that I'm that's, that's not what I was talking Stop. about. I was okay, talking hold on, about I can't like... even list my grievances. I don't <laughs> even get to, my bad, my bad. No. I'm sorry, I thought you were gonna let me. You said I was going to, but I guess I don't let you. My bad, go ahead, okay, go I'll ahead. I'll fucking write it down. I, oh, cool, okay, get a notepad and write it down. We weren't, we weren't talking about whether or not you were nice to me in person we were talking about in person you conceded and you literally talked about with me that you knew that your community was full of incels and misogyny i didn't say they like, were that's just the name of the game i didn't say they were and that was a conversation Go ahead, my that bad i'm so had. sorry i thought and I now you're to like talk. rewriting history okay. that's what i brought up and that you were like yeah people are always going to do that and even you can see in the conversations even on stream you were like mm -hmm. yeah you become a representative of like the whole female population because it's you on stream yep and there's so few women here like you have you said that publicly on fucking stream so, and now you're like all of a sudden moving? Like, it, that doesn't make any fucking sense. You're being flip floppy. Anyway. Am I gonna get to second, respond to an actual grievance? thing? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm gonna respond to that. When we spoke in real life, it wasn't like, oh my God, every negative thing you're gonna get is because my audience is full of incels and misogyny, blah, 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 blah. When that, did I just oh, my bad. I thought I, I, thought, I, thought I got to, I thought I got to talk. My mistake. No, but you're, you're, having a you're having a conversation with an invisible enemy. Talk to me about the things that I've talked about. What are you talking? Dude, you're being so annoying. You're acting like a kid. You're acting like a kid, Steven. Do I get to speak now? Or are you gonna interrupt me again? Halfway through what I'm trying to explain. Okay. The characterization of what I said was that obviously in my community, there, it, there is a lot of misogyny that I'm trying to get rid of, obviously. And there are people in all debate spaces that are gonna skew heavily towards men and probably like misogynistic content. That's what I'm saying, okay? But you can't, you, when you utter that, you're not trying to invoke a good faith characterization of my community that I gave in a conversation with you. You're trying to invoke it to avoid responsibility or accountability again. Oh. That's what you do consistently when you say, oh, his community is a griper audience. They're misogynistic and, and destiny you're priming them against me when you call me a dumb bitch. That what you're trying to do is you're trying to avoid, and when you're saying, I can't participate in these communities, they're too harsh and I'm too sensitive and blah, blah, blah. All of these are tools to avoid any accountability for things you've said. That's what all of those are. Or at least, at the very Freaking least, that's what it feels like to me. What? Okay, Stephen, I've taken accountability. I've been aggressive when I shouldn't have been. I've spoken with too much dogma when I shouldn't have. I know all these things about myself. It's like... I don't, I don't know what else you want me to say. Don't like, blame I, me or say that I'm, I'm being not. dis- You are, you no, just I'm not. said I think, that I'm not no, charitable. Even, I think you that, just no, said that I'm priming my audience to hate you by calling you a dumb bitch. You just said- Stop doing fucking voice. Oh, you're literally stop. doing Talk it. To me like you're doing it right now when you're doing that. You're literally doing it to me. What do you mean? I can't do the same thing? Is, are you the only one allowed to? Do you have the monopoly on that? What are you talking about? Steven, well, just what I say when you say, why are you talking to me like this? You're literally doing it. Do you not see that you're doing exactly that? I, I, no, uh, I feel like I have a, I have a woman's voice and you're like trying to manipulate. You're not using a woman's voice, you're using the manipulator voice when you get caught doing some dumb shit in a conversation, you're trying to, again, avoid responsibility. That's what you're doing right now. Don't talk to me like this. Okay, okay, Steven, I've taken responsibility for everything. I think that both things can be true. I think that bo I can be both unlikable and also that there is like a, a derangement syndrome against me on your in subreddit. I think that both things can be true, right? I think that I can be flawed and stupid and not get everything right and intentionally smug, but I also think that it can also be true that your audience is insane with me. Um, both things my can audience be true. has like I don't definitely think that makes them, I don't think that makes them less right about me being smug, annoying, whatever just the fuck. So here's I like know. just a random question, just curious, because I haven't watched the full conversation yet, but in your 30 minute conversation with Max, did you at any point in that conversation say, I think one of the reasons why people don't like me is because I'm very aggressive towards other people and then I change my opinion like pretty quickly afterwards. Is that a single thing that you ever utter? Or is there just constant conversations about, well, Destiny's really mean to me, he's really bad faith and uncharitable to me, his audience is full of gripers and incels. Which, which one we do you think? With Max, we talked yeah. about mostly Max with you. You. But you and also spoke about me about... and my community and the way that I treat you. Um. Yes. Maybe. I actually don't remember. Was okay. this this was last night? I'm assuming it was last night or two nights ago. I kind of lose track of the days. I don't know how. I don't know how much time we spent 
talking about it, but it was not significant. It might um, not have been significant, but I watched the minute. It was you saying that like, yeah, I think that, uh, I don't think I can go back on Destiny stream. He's too bad faith and blah, blah, blah. We can watch the clip if you want. That. No, I said, no, no, no. I said, I said for me to protect myself from someone who, because to me, it doesn't look like, and I know that we see it differently, but to me, I feel like you're not empathizing with my position because you want to protect your community, which is fine. No. But I, Stephen, will you on. please? No, 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 no. Steven, you don't you understand please? how unbelievable, this is Bad Bunny 2.0, okay? You do not understand how frustrating it is for me to treat you with so much charitability and so much good faith that I get railed by my community constantly for it, and then you come back and you say that I'm not treating you with good I faith, know. and then you rail it, I'm getting double no, I've got a no, triple-sided dildo I, no, coming think, out of all my f***ing holes I, right I, now. I, I think, okay, Stephen, I think that you're being uncharitable to me now. I no, been I have been more than charitable to towards you. Right now, what you're trying to do is the lav thing where you said enough things, you kind of sit on the fence and ignore all of the implications of everything you said. Just what no. you said earlier. You said, I think I needed to leave where to protect myself. That? Just what you said earlier. I need to leave to protect myself. That makes it yes, sound like you're, I, no. you're running from a f***ing invading army. I have to leave to protect no. myself. No, no, not an invading army. They leave me alone if I'm not on stream. That's the implication. How but do you then, not? But then, no, but then I go on stream and then I read all these comments and I'm like, not going to like what they are. So I just, I'm not going to read them. That's I'm great not, that you're not, saying that now, but what you're saying not, now sounds way different no, than he's I got an this, audience I full of gropers and misogynists and incels. I, yes, that was also the night after that conversation. That was I'm just saying that what you're saying now is- Where you called me a dumb bitch. It's been a week. Right now you have a- Of course, I'm going to feel differently about it. Right now you have a, stop using that voice. Give me the laugh voice. Not that one. Holy shit. Thank you. That yes. is my voice. I'm also, I'm like pleading with you because I feel very desperate with you right now. Because what do you I feel like you're not hearing me. I hear, what do you think I'm not hearing? Well, I, I feel like you're not, I'm doing, I'm doing the max thing where I feel like you're not, you're not taking care of my feelings, but you shouldn't have to, but I still. What about, what about my, you, wait, not Lav, to, what about my feelings, Lav? I know. I, I, just told, I just told Max the same thing last okay, night. Okay, what do you think nice I'm about. upset about? T talk to me about it. Well, I know that you're upset because obviously you think that I've made an unfair characterization of you. Okay. Um, and I feel the same way. No, no, no. Uh, I, don't, don't I don't give a f about you right now. I want to know what you think about my feelings. Why am I upset? Don't bring your feelings up. Bring up my feelings. Take care of me. Um, okay. Yes. I think that you probably you probably feel like betrayed. You probably you probably feel very um like on the uh, unregulated interpersonally because a lot of drama has gone in the past couple weeks. Um, for the past week. Uh, and then obviously me, someone that you've been very charitable to, is now you know painting you in a way that you don't feel like you've been because you feel like you've gotten a lot of shit from people for being too charitable to me so now when you hear me make that description of you you think that it's um like extremely unfair and that makes you like way okay. more mad at me do you think that my feel good okay that was really good i didn't think you'd be able to get that far so i'm impressed okay can you do tell you me <laughs> do you think that my feelings are fair yeah like they map onto reality yeah then why are you surprised that i'm so upset right now I'm not surprised. Okay, then what was the purpose of you coming into this conversation? Because you reminded me over and over again that I'm making you feel hurt or uncomfortable, but it because seems like you acknowledge why I would be hurt or uncomfortable over and over and over again. What was the goal of the conversation then? To come in while I'm hurting or uncomfortable, and then you want to come in and have me like placate your feelings? What was the point? You just made me placate yours. Because I'm the one that's upset. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think that in a friendship you should be able to talk about why what both of you guys are feeling, and then you know, apply it to reality. Okay, I, I don't think tell that, me. I think that, I think that your reality is, is very accurate. And I also think that my reality is accurate because most of it is just how we feel. Okay, tell me your reality, go. Tell me, tell me how you're feeling right um, now. I'm having a really hard time coming to grips with the fact that I've been like stupid online. And also uh, that uh, like having to deal with the consequences of having like a very, um, um, unedited persona uh, where just like anything goes um, I'm like trying to parse out what I want from streaming or the internet in general and it's very uh, I think it's a lot all at once to have like so many people like hate me um, which like isn't about you that's like obviously very much about me um, but it's like hard to deal with because it's like a lot all at once because I, I mean, I really, I'm grateful to you for, you know, 
getting you know for spending this time with me on stream because it's it's great for for business right but i also um i like didn't know like what i was really getting into um and then when it turned out it was bad i like it's like upsetting like it's upsetting for so many people to um like pick me apart constantly and i think that you're used to that because you've had this platform for so long but i'm like i'm still sort of just like this is like my first, my first little dip, my first toe dip in it. Um, and so I, I wish that you'd, um, I'm not going to be another girl that cries on your stream. Holy shit. Hold on. Let me have a second. <laughs> um, so I think when I talked to you about calling me a dumb bitch, it like, uh, it really hurt because I felt like not only was your community painting me this way, but you who knows me personally, is saying these things to me and like affirming that it's true. That I am just like a stupid dumb bitch who knows nothing. Which like hurts more when you say it because you know me better than your community. And then because your community knows that you know me better, they're like, okay, it's like open season basically. Like we are we're right because Steven is like, is telling, you know, is telling us that it is okay to do this. And then you did that again when you talked about Brittany versus me and that Brittany didn't deserve all the criticism and I deserve more of it because I'm crazy and I was just like fuck like and I think that that is a fine characterization for you to make right because that's your reality but that hurts me a lot so then I had to be like okay well I don't want to change Steven's mind because I think what he's feeling is valid but I might just have to like take myself out of the equation because I can't handle this Whereas Max was like, well, I can change his mind. I can change him. I was just like, I think it's just healthier for me if I'm just not, if I don't involve myself in, in this. Um, or just like, cool it, cool it down. Like, obviously well, the way that I've been going about the internet is not good. So I should probably change a couple things. Um, and then you've like, you've been mad at me this, this past week. And I've just been like, I've been trying to not give you too much shit because I know that Max is giving you a lot. And I know that like, you know, your audience is giving you a lot, and I know that, obviously, the whole Nick stuff or whatever, I don't, I don't know. Um, so I've been trying to, like, give you space, but then I, But you've you been know, talking about me on, like, every platform, like, shit-talking me on every platform you've been going on. I didn't shit-talk you, Stephen. I've, you I've wouldn't you say the conversations we had with Max, you don't think was shitting me a little bit? Or the conversations you had with Brittany and Erida, you wouldn't say they're shitting me a little bit? Do you want to watch those clips together we can go over if we think that is or not? This is what I'll say. Um... <clears throat> okay, I'll concede. I guess I was shit talking you, but in I think in a way that was productive that humanized you, so it doesn't seem as bad to me. I don't know what that sentence. I wasn't meant. painting. I wasn't painting you as evil. I wasn't painting. You're you painting as, like, me as uncharitable and dishonest, which are like the sure, worst but, things. And I would rather and somebody say I have a small dick. Okay, my honesty, my charitability are like the two things that I've extended the most to you and to other people in general. So. I know, and maybe that's why I got so happy with how much you were doing that, that suddenly you stopped and I was like, wait, where'd it go? Which is understandable, right? No. If you condition, if you condition me to have cl kid gloves on and then all of a sudden you take the kid gloves off, I'm like, wait, this doesn't feel good. I think that's normal. That's a normal feeling for me to have. Okay, but that's not upset. your, that's your characterization to me right now, okay? And I've noticed this more and more that it feels like when you're having a conversation with somebody, whatever characterizations you've given about them in the past, you know the implication. But when you confront that person directly, like everything you've said in the past has given you like the perfect leeway to sit on either side of the fence. And when you talk to the person in real life, you go to the good side of the fence. But then when you're in another community later, you'll hop that. to the other side of the fence. I understand this. And this is why this is why I don't think that I do well in the debate sphere. No, 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 no. That's not a debate no, sphere. No, That's a personal no, no, relationship no. thing. I, I, I understand that, Stephen, but listen to me. I am just that person in general. It's not to be manipulative. It's not for optics, which is why I got so angry with Cherry because Cherry was saying that I do this for like manipulation or optics. I do this because this is just my brain. I'm constantly in this like this area of like gray. Like I'm 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 no, not going to No, you're not in I'm, No, 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 no. Hold on. You're not yes, in an I area am. of gray where it's undecided. You're in an area of gray that allows you to play whoever's in front no. of you. Yes. No, that's intent. You're you're deriving intent on me. You just had a conversation about we just our last fight was you saying that you couldn't I couldn't assign intent to Cherry, but you're trying to do it to me. If I could pull somebody that you, if I could pull you in a conversation that you're having with somebody, and I could ask you, when you say these things about his audience, 
Do you know what you're implying? You would absolutely know. You would know 100%. But now when you're in front of me and you say, well, that was just like a small part of it. I didn't mean to imply like your full audience full of groupers. That's not really that relevant. Like then you're on the other side of the fence. It's not because you're gray and nuanced. And you, it's because whenever you're in front of somebody, you say the particular thing that you know either they want to hear or bolsters your connection with them the most. It is fine that you have that characterization of me. That is not, I, that is not my truth. Like I don't I know don't what care what is your truth, honey. That's not relevant. What is relevant is the implication you give to everybody listening. No, That's great that you have a truth, but when you say things it. in front of somebody, like he has a groiper misogynistic insult audience, and then you come to me and go, well, my truth is that I was just like, I just had like a conversation about this particular thing. I haven't conceded, I still think that you do. I haven't conceded. Okay, I still but your evidence for that is you getting harassed on Twitter you. by groipers, and you interact with groipers more than I do. You're on those panels more than I am. Steven, in your own, in your Discord today, people were posting pictures of me without makeup, saying how ugly I looked without makeup. It, today. Where? Today, in your f***ing, in your, in your f***ing Discord. Today. You should report, I'm pretty sure we ban people for something. This is really, RTB, yes, can you look this up? a moderator reached out to me. A moderator reached out to me. Still. It, it's still happening. And I know that you can't control all of that. I know that you can't, and I don't- They're already banned. Okay, these types of, you do blame I it on know. me. You say that no, it comes from me and my community. Steven, I'm not, it's not, you are not your community. I didn't you literally, you. didn't we just say earlier that communities come from individuals? Did we have this part of the conversation here? Were you saying that I like- I think that you can sway and lead your community into a direction, but there will still be outliers. Even if you were like, I love Lav, she's always right. There would still be people who are like, I, I want to kill and rape her, whatever. Why I use those that. as representatives of the community then? Like in your messages to me, you say, look at your subreddit, look at your YouTube comments. Like, what are you implying there? Well, also, I was very emotional. Um, I, was, I, wanted, I want to kill myself. Okay. Don't say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being hyperbolic. I Stop apologizing. You're victimizing yourself again. Stop. I'm not victimizing myself. I'm saying, what do you, I'm not victimizing myself. I'm being accountable. I'm saying that I was emotional and I was. That's the opposite of accountability. What? Saying you're emotional implies that you were out of, you lacked agency at the time to make the correct decision. It's the opposite of accountability, saying I'm emotional. That's what emotions do to you. What are you talking about? Emotions make you act like very selfishly. What do you mean, Steven? How, how else do you want me to say that? Do you want me to say, yes, I, I purposely messaged you about all these things to victimize myself? No, I told it would, you I would I give you the same the answer that Erudite gave you. You would say, oh, hmm, I fucked up and I was wrong. That's what accountability looks like. Saying, oh, I was emotional at the time. It's the opposite of accountability. It's externalizing that's, the blame on something that's, that's out of your control. That's my way. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't have the right- Don't to apologize to me. Yet. It's not words to communicate. It's an idea. Okay, Steven, When you try stop. to blame- okay. Okay, I meant the same thing. I meant the same thing. No, so you didn't mean that. I, I know what you meant. Yes, you said what you meant. No, I need to update my vocabulary. I'm sorry, I fucked up. I'm wrong. I have no problem saying that. I just, that meant the same thing to me as saying that I was emotional. I'm sorry. Okay, so when you say things like, why are you pretending your audience is not filled with misogynist and vitriolic tox el toxicos, what, what, what is the implication there? That it's just a few uh, people on Twitter? The implication is huge not, that you're saying that- It's not a few people. It is- and then when you say later, you're steadfast and that enough. you handled everything enough. great and correctly, that makes it implies that there is some level of blame that I have there. No, with you, with you. I, I handled everything with you correctly. Like I wasn't like, I wasn't like waging war or like whatever. I said, I'm trying to be- No, you're implying that I didn't handle I things be. correctly. You said that I'm not handling things correctly. I know because I was, I, I was frazzled. I thought that maybe there was something that you could do. Uh, you see Max doing the same thing. Obviously this feeling, uh, this feeling is not just my feeling. No, 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 hold on. My feelings with Max are, it's a totally separate thing, not at all related to this. And it has to do with Max specifically calling out my subreddit for war and then all of the cringy shit that's going on with that right now. Aside from that, me and Max are, well, aside from that thing, we're chill. But that's a totally separate I'd thing than that, what's happening with your- I'd say that we are also chill b besides this. Unless we're not. No, what I'm I, what I'm saying is that Max's situation has specifically to do with like a subreddit war thing that's going on right now. Your no, problem with not, me is no, is wider. Max about it. No, I talked to Max about it two days ago. He thinks the same thing that you that you're. Uh, I think this is where I am with it mm -hmm. because I've come. I've I think I've moved in the week since I it has happened. I think I wanted you to protect me from your audience in a way that um, wasn't fair. I was like asking for special treatment. 
Um, and I was upset when you didn't give it to me. And now I'm sort of just like dealing with the uh, the bed that I shit in. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm. I was wrong. I I don't think that. Um, I don't think that your audience is filled with uh, groipers and misogynists. Um, I think that they're certainly there. Um, and I think that you could probably do things to quell some of that if you were extremely cautious. Okay, I, I understand what you're saying. All of this to me, I understand you have things you're saying that all feels like placating to me. Because when you were talking to Max, like Max was making it sound like I was so beyond... <sighs> fucking damaged or whatever and you're like oh well no well we shouldn't even try to change him like that's just the way that he is and i can't interact no, with no. that anymore so no 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 no. so i still feel that same way so i uh, so i think in the way where like i can love you from like here but knowing that if i interact with you in that way like i'm gonna get my feelings hurt because i can't control you whereas like interact Max with me in what way um like if i go on your stream i can't trust you or expect you to um like treat me with kid gloves anymore or even though i have in every single me. circumstance except when you're yes. literally shouting at me in the middle of a conversation yes. yes yes whereas max wants to like control the way that you control his narrative i'm sort of just like i think and i said this i said i still love steven but i think that and i think that you can still love steven but i think you'd be happier if you weren't trying to control him I think what I was saying was like perfectly apt, and I don't think that it was rude at at all towards you. Um, I you, said that you, I think that you, you are, struggled. I said that you struggled interpersonally because I do think that that's true. You are, you're really good at this, okay? But I'm far older than you, okay? I see through your devious tricks, okay? Steven, this <sighs> stop. This implication that you were talking about me. Like a butterfly that you can't catch and you have to let flap its wings in the way Steven, blah, 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 I said that is, you struggled interpersonally. I said that you had a detached. You said that you style. didn't feel like you wanted to teach me how to treat you properly. The implication of that is so much more negative and vitriolic than you're giving it credit for. When now you describe the conversation, you're like, well, I was just telling him that we kind of have to let you flap your wings the way that you do. Like the beautiful so, butterfly you are. That's not the implication was that I'm this monster that can't even be trained to treat a woman properly on stream. Okay. Whoa. That's not what I meant. That, that's that not is, what I meant at all. That's what you um, implied, and that probably not, is what okay. you meant. Okay, I'm I'm sorry that I fucked up in that way. I did not I did not mean to do that. What you have to understand also, this is where I'm coming at it. So me and Max have very similar attachment styles. I think it's because we both have fucked up moms that fucked us up. And so when I'm talking to Max and leveling with him, I have to speak his language. So when I'm saying uh, we need someone to take care of us, we need whatever, I'm speaking to him in like in like a uh, codependency narcissistic language because this is how i feel it this is how he feels it right so when i'm talking about you even though it might not be actually the case the reality that you're not taking care of us that's what it feels like to me and max first okay? of all don't group so yourself leveling, with max hold on the issues that we're having are we completely had, totally different they're very similar they're absolutely completely disconnected I think maybe you see it that way, but I don't think that me and Max see it that way. I don't. You're both wrong. And I wouldn't trust either of your takes on fine. interpersonal relationships with psychology. So don't, I don't care what you guys think, okay? That's fine. You don't have to. Okay, cool. I'm telling you how I feel. No, you're it not telling me right. how you feel. You're giving me descriptions of reality that I disagree with. No, I'm saying it's not the reality. When you I say me and Max both different. feel the same way and we have the same problem with you, that's not a statement about how you feel. That's, that's a descriptive our reality, statement. Which could be warped. Our that reality could be warped. I'm just telling you how I'm telling you the language I was speaking when I was talking to Max. Maybe I shouldn't have done that on stream for an audience to watch and take whatever they could from it. I'll own that. But I also don't think that I've painted you in any sort of like um like malignant way. When you say that you can't person. teach me how to treat you properly, you don't think that paints me in a certain way? When you say that my community is full of misogynists and incels and groipers, okay. you don't okay. think that paints me in a certain way? Well, when I was talking to Max about how I think that Max sees um, the Cherry situation in the same way that I do. And it could be not based on reality. Like I said, we're both sick individuals. Um, but I think this is why me and him have grouped up is because we both saw... The reason why I spoke up for Max so vehemently, obviously i already trying to get a dunk on Cherry. She sucks. But then when I saw that you weren't 
telling Cherry how stupid she was, uh, I felt like I needed to protect Max. I felt like I needed to like. That's yeah, I felt like great, I to and that's a very him. normal childlike response to seeing somebody in danger. Okay. Yeah. But sure. the adult me saw that the entire internet was against Cherry and Stardust. Even in their yeah. own Twitter mentions, they were getting roasted yeah, for it. My exactly. subreddit was roasting them. My chat was, everything was roasting them. Yes, so I'm not going to so, sit there and scream, I'm here to save you, Max, when he doesn't need to save it. He's perfectly 100% fine. Yeah, I yeah, I totally, I, I get that. And I think that maybe some of that is true, right? But um, also, we have to meet people where they are, right? So like, if Max wanted you to do that, you can either choose to not do that or to do it. And Max, Max didn't communicate going, to me anything related to that. I'm not going to try to mind read him there. And if he did try to message me and say something, can you please pet that cat next to you? Yeah. If he did try to message me and say something, then I probably would have had the frank conversation with him about like, oh, well, I think it would be good or bad for me to intersect or to um, engage with this topic in this matter because of these reasons. I think that that's completely fair. I think that's completely fair. Um, I Well, but you're like that, holding me accountable for being like a bad friend. No. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. No, that's not what I tried to do. That's not what I tried to do. I don't I care what you try. Do you, you must understand that when you say things like Stephen failed to help Max when he needed a friend the most, that the implication is that I'm a shitty friend and by extension of that, a shitty human. I can tell that, um, I understand the implication, um, I really wasn't trying to do that, though. Um, I, I was really trying to uh, come to a place where I, I see... Um, I see Max has, like, a very anxious attachment to you. Uh, so I'm... That was me telling, like, him to, like, let go. Uh, because I, I can see that it's, like, hurting him because he holds your your friendship in the- uh, Because I'm a like, horrible really person. Because I don't know how to treat people with respect. No, no, yes. it's not because of you. It's not no, because of you, it it's is. because of Max. That, no, that was- No, no that to be, it's not okay, because that's, of you. I'm great with what you're saying now, but in that conversation, the implication was that I don't want to train Steven how to treat me properly. And I think that you need to stop being friends with him too. What is the implication? That I'm a horrible I'm monster you. that doesn't know how to treat people. I don't need you to tell me how you're going to phrase it in the, I can tell you what you're going to say now. I already know. Steven, but I'm just telling Steven. you the implication of what you're saying leans a certain way. And every motherfucker looking at the conversation go, oh yeah, obviously she's implying that he's a horrible fucking person. And Max needs to kind of solve off as quickly as possible. He's never going to find happiness in the presence of such a griper incel creating monster. Okay. I think you also forget, and I know that this is normal for you because you've been streaming for a while and you understand that like there's a whole chat watching. But for me still, it does not, like, I don't, it feels like I'm just having a conversation with one person. I'm like, I'm never looking at chat, I'm not. So to me, when I'm leveling with Max, pay attention to me. I'm listening. For me, when I'm leveling with Max. When I'm leveling with Max and I'm speaking with his language, I'm not thinking about optically what I look like. I'm thinking about connecting with Max. No one here is talking about optics. Yes, okay. You are, because you're talking about implications. I'm talking about an implication that you'd be selling in a one-on-one -on -one scenario, even if it wasn't a million no. people or whatever watching. If you were talking to Max personally, you're like, you know, I don't really want to be friends with Steven because like, I don't think he knows how to treat people properly. I'm not going to train anybody how to treat people properly. I think you shouldn't be friends with him either. What is the implication? It doesn't matter if there's a million people listening or only Max listening. Yeah, I never said that you guys should not be friends. You're saying that, that he should needs cut to let himself. Go. What, what, is, what does that mean? I, I don't think that you get it because you have very de you have a very detached attachment style. I don't think that you understand what anxious attachment is or what it feels like. And that's fine. No. In this conversation right now, you're Steven, implying- are you are you seriously oh going God, to I'm tell so sorry. me- Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm bad for trying to speak. Go ahead. Steven, shut the fuck up. Are you, seri are you seriously going to tell me that you don't struggle interpersonally? No, really? I don't struggle interpersonally. No, I don't. That's a fucking joke. It's not a joke. I don't. You have, you have feuded and fought with everyone in all fucking four corners of the fucking internet, Steven. Come yeah, and on. I can tell you exactly why I fight with anybody that I do. It's not a mystery to me. Yeah, there's always a reason. There's always a reason. Yeah, it's sure. always someone else. It's always I'm an aggressive. Else. It's never you. No. It's never you. Hold on. That's not true. I have a super aggressive personality. There's a lot of reasons why people don't like me, but I know that. I'm not, I'm not confused. I'm never on stream trying to figure out, like, I don't oh, know why they're treating me that way. What? But I can't bring up those reasons? You could. Oh, are you bringing up those reasons? Because five seconds ago you were trying to say that it wasn't about me, that it was about Max, but now that I'm willing to admit, of course, yeah, I am an asshole. Now you do want to make it about me? Or which which one is it? I can't tell if no, you're, you're changing was, positions in real time. No, You've got the Thanos ring. Reality is whatever I want it to be. Tell me. Shut up. You're okay. acting fucking catatonic. Okay. Stop. 
Also, hold on. Just Follow a heads up. Me in this conversation. Okay, I'm following you, but I have to leave in like three minutes because I've got to eat with Dan, okay? So, go ahead. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> I'm just saying I that think... in your conversation with Max, the implication was that I was like an evil, horrible person. I think most people would read into it as being like, oh, okay, yeah, he sounds like that guy. Whoever she's talking about, that dude sounds pretty fucked up. Pretty selfish, pretty mean, pretty rude. When you and when you and Melina have a fight, mm -hmm. when you when Melina goes to her friends, how mm -hmm. do you think that they how do you think they talk about you? Even though they know that, and they probably or if you had a mutual friend, mm -hmm. is it am I supposed to be like completely like a uh, like emotionally uninvested, or am I going to be like yeah that actually makes sense? Like if I felt the way that you felt, I probably wouldn't be friends with that person. That's on you to figure out how you decide to bring those problems up. I agree with you that a lot of people do act like children, and when they present problems to their significant other, they make them sound wholly fucking evil. You can ask people that I personally confide in with relationship issues. Um, I don't know if I've ever talked with you about Melina, but I know for other people, you can go around and ask people, when Stephen has fights with Melina, how does he talk about it? You can probably ask Dan, you can probably you might be able to ask Pisco, Erudite, and my conversation is always like, it's going to be like, yeah, when he's got problems with Melina, he says it, but he always says why she feels upset too. I never give this impression like, oh, Melina, that's a dumb bitch. She's a crazy fucking monster she's like a stupid fucking kid sure. usually i'll say like oh yeah melina's really upset about this and i think it's kind of silly but i'm a really hard person to get along with and she's probably sure. triggered because but i lied about you. this in the past but that's whatever. you sure but that's you sure that's well i'm saying but well, hold on because you asked that max that's, was talking about that's, max that's max was talking to me about how he felt that's fine but i'm just saying Not you asked me how do you talk about people when you're having a fight with melina and i told you how i talk because i know that if i don't and i know that if i don't say that if i only give the problems that i have with melina and i don't say why she might feel that way the impression people are gonna is oh melina's a crazy fucking bitch that's what they're gonna think that's exactly why i don't give things in that manner so that's fine if you're telling me that you don't and that's even normal what you're saying is people don't often give like the other sides of things that's fine but then you can't also say i don't know why people would come away thinking in that conversation that i thought you were a super fucking crazy person because now you're telling me the reasons why you're giving that impression while earlier telling me you didn't think you were giving that impression it can't be everything at the same time it's like everything everywhere all at once in terms of like what you're trying to say and what you're trying to imply and what you feel at any given point in time and and, and who you're we're talking having to this, we're having this conversation in hindsight so i think i i am able to actually do that because now I now you're here with me instead of just talking to Max. So I think that it's normal that I would have more information now and I would integrate it. Okay. I, I don't know why don't, you're acting I don't like think that whatever you just true. said has nothing to do with any conversations that have happened in the past. You're not retroactively changing the event. You're not Bran Stark, okay, going into the past and trying to change things, okay, and Hodor yourself into like, the, well, this is actually what I meant no, at the but time. I'm, not I'm that I can trying go back to make and... sense. Of, no, but I'm trying to make sense of a mosaic of, of interpersonal complexity. There, nothing is very complex here. There's not very many complex interactions happening. All of this has been no, pretty it, simple it so far. It is complex because I think that I see it differently than Max sees it. Max sees it differently how, than you see it. And we all see it slightly differently because we're all functioning off different reasons why we feel like one has hurt the other. I think that's normal. And so to, to make everyone feel validated, I think that we should recognize all of it. I think that I've done a fine job recognizing why you're hurt. And you still are like, you're still making me like this, uh, you're like painting me as this like villain that's like manipulative and Cause you are, I kind of are acting like a villain, yes. But I'm gonna give you the final word cause I have to leave and go talk to Dan, okay? Cause. Okay, I think it's really unfair that, um... yeah, I think that's an unfair characterization, but I don't, I don't know what else to say. Cause I wanna have a productive conversation. It doesn't feel very productive. It doesn't feel productive because I'm not just acquiescing to everything you're saying and like going, like, yeah, true, I agree, I agree, I agree. It feels unproductive because I'm giving you pushback. You probably don't get it very much. That would be my guess. No, I get it. I get it enough. It it just sucks when um, I'm trying to be vulnerable to you and you're painting everything that I'm doing maybe messily as like intentional. No, hold on. It's like you're not being vulnerable me. to me. Okay, that's not I'm true. Trying to be. No, you're I'm not trying, trying to, be. to be. You're giving me excuses, rationalizations, and justifications for everything you've done so far. I have not done. I have what? What? When? When, when you when? said I was emotional, and that's why I made all of those statements about your community. Yeah, I said I fucked up. No, now said you said up. it, but that's not what you said before. Before you externalized it, I was being I say, emotional, when and you even says, said it's normal someone, to be emotional. When someone says, Stephen, when someone says, when someone says, yeah, I was being emotional. Does it, to me that sounds like okay? They get it. They get it. 
Do you just want me to say fuck? I like. Do you want me in front of you and everyone to be like, yeah, I'm stupid. I fucked up. Like, you don't have I, to say you're stupid. Thing. It does the same <clears throat> thing though for me to be like, it, yeah, it, I was it, emotional. Okay, I'm just communicating to you people skills. It doesn't say the same thing. If somebody fucks up, like if a woman fucks up, and says, oh, I was on my period. Okay, that's not the same my, thing as saying my, like, oh, maybe my people, maybe my people skills fucking <sighs> suck then. But for you to be painting me, dude, and even the way that you're talking to me now, oh, I don't know how to ask for what I want from you. Okay, we can talk any other time you want, off stream or on stream, whatever you want to do. I need to go eat or Dan is going to f kill me, okay? I appreciate the conversation. I understand it's a challenging conversation. Um, thanks for having me though, okay? Be careful. Right. Real quick, before I leave, I just want to throw up a quick, I need a 900 to make me feel good after the night, okay? Here we go. That's what I wanted. I just want a perfect 900. That's it.